just erupted. We're also feeling them fall a little bit quieter too. Right. So we're gonna take a, a beat of silence as we get into totality. I think we're, we're less than about 15 seconds away. So we're gonna also look over our shoulder with yep. our solar eclipse glasses solar still eclipse on glasses. until we are in totality. Here we go. Just a sliver of the sun left. Getting close. Crowd getting excited. The crowd, yeah, all around us, completely electric. Going. Going. Wow. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Here we go. And. And the crowd goes wild. God. Oh my God. Wow. We got some Bailey's beads. Oh. Absolutely stunning. That is spectacular. We see Venus over to the, over to the side there. And Patrick, it came and went so quickly, but we did see a diamond ring we did at the indeed. very beginning there. Can you describe to us what is that? Sure, that, that diamond ring effect is due to the, the moon not being perfectly smooth. It's got mountains, it's got valleys. So just like here on Earth, when we see a sunrise or a sunset through a valley, we just watched a sunset uh, 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 through a valley on the moon. Absolutely stunning. Oh my. So you said we could see one planet. I see it right there in the yep. sky. Can we see <laughs> any others as we're looking up? Yeah, we've got Venus on the, on the over to one side. We've got Jupiter up here uh, to the left of the sun. And there's this the corona. Is absolutely beautiful. That is spectacular. Now, you also said that this is happening during what we're calling a solar maximum. Now, Patrick, does that mean that the sun is stronger right now than normal? Uh, not so much stronger, just more dynamic. It's changing a lot. Uh, uh, during solar maximum, the, the magnetic field on the, on the sun is, is more chaotic, it's more disorganized. So you see more random random directions for the, for the, the jets of gas leaving the sun. Right. That is spectacular. We could see a, a, a stream. All right, we are reaching wow. that halfway mark already, two minutes into totality. There's even just a hint of a diamond ring down at the bottom. I can see it. Yeah, we're looking at limb. a diamond ring from Arkansas, the Diamond State. Yes. Got my full attention. Wow. That's all I can watch. Holy cow. Oh, we've got some so uh, some, some very um, appropriate music on, yeah, <laughs> going on yeah, in so, the background yes. here. This is the best version of getting mooned that I have <laughs> ever experienced <laughs> in my life. Don't strain your eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, wow. I am just in awe. There just oh aren't the right words to describe this. I'm just noticing it feels so strange to me right now. Like yes. I feel the hair on my arm wow. standing up. I feel like it's nighttime and I'm, what it am is. I doing? And, and it was and, daytime. And actually folks, we are starting to get some nighttime insects coming out. Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> we're starting to see bugs. Yeah, we are seeing yes. bugs in light. It's hard to hear them over the crowd, the but crowd. I can definitely see yes. them flying. Yes, I think the, the animals are a little bit confused. Nikki, while I have you, you know, we've got a lot of programs at NASA looking at the sun. No eclipse glasses required. As the Associate Director of Flight Programs, tell me, what can we expect NASA to be sending to the sun in the few in next well, few years? We are so lucky in the midst of this incredible time of solar max. We're getting ready oh, to... Oh, the oh, I'm oh, seeing a diamond oh, ring right now. The diamond ring. Diamond ring. Take a look. Take a look. Put your glasses back on, be safe. That is the diamond ring, folks. Wow, spectacular. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. You can even hear fireworks in the distance. Slowly disappearing. Crowds cheering here. Cell phones up, cameras up. Five, four, three, two, one. And totality. Totality, totality everyone. See the, that corona extending out? Oh, wow. Yeah, the Look clouds were really bothering me. <laughs> really scaring me. <laughs> it did get very cloudy here in the last hour and a half, but we have a great view oh, here. Oh, wow. look, look at, at the this. corona. You can hear the crowd. 
Wow, everybody's got their phones out. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know, I saw pictures of what the shape of the corona might look like from, from our NASA scientists, and, and it looks exactly like they predicted. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you can see Jupiter oh, yeah. and Venus. Oh yeah, look at that. So yeah. Jupiter's to the upper left of, yes. of the eclipse that we're watching, and just to the right of it is Venus. Venus, yes. Oh, and I see some of those pink protuberances we've been talking about all day. It's Top like a, where we like are. 360 sunset. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yes, Indianapolis had described that as well. Woo! We have totality here for three minutes and 50 seconds. That is such a luxurious amount of time. I saw the 2017, I think we only had about two minutes. So. And why is that? Why, why does the length of totality differ? Oh, yeah, well, because sometimes the moon is a little closer, a little further away. Its orbit's elliptical. And so when it's further away, it looks smaller in the sky. But when it's closer, it looks bigger. And so we get a little bit more extra time. Look at the prominence. You can see it on the bottom, on okay, the bottom there. So pretty. Wow. It's like bright pink. That is insane that you can see it from there, from here. Yes. Just like the power of our sun. I'm truly in awe right now. <laughs> and cold. I'm in <laughs> awe and cold. It did drop. It's it is noticeably colder. Degrees. It's like, yes. Yes. Looking around to the crowd. A lot of people videotaping it, trying to take photos. It's the lovely backdrop of the Cleveland skyline. Yeah, that's beautiful. We have the stadium right next to us. The, the, Oh my gosh. And again, thanking the Great Lakes Science Center and NASA for hosting this event here in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. And it's great to like sort of join humanity to all come together at once and experience this together with such a great Oh, group look at the folks. screen right now. Here's a shot of the skyline. Wow, wow, the sky looks on fire. <laughs> Beautiful. A lot of excitement still here in the crowd. Sarah's just taking it all in. Sarah, you're supposed <laughs> so, to be commentating. You're supposed I know, to be saying. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell that we have some cloud cover, right? It's kind of hazy here, but still. It is, yeah, some high clouds. I was worried about it, but like you, we can still really see it. Have a pretty good view here. Wow. And again, this is so rare for people here in Cleveland to see a total solar eclipse. The last time was yes. 1806. Yes. The next time, guys. 2444. <laughs> that is incredible. I hope everybody took the time to come outside and witness this today. Oh my gosh. You can still see that prominence. Again, talk to us yeah, about what so a prominence beautiful. is. Yeah, so that, that pink color comes from the helium uh, in, in the sort of outer atmosphere of the, of the sun there. Oh, it's beautiful. And it gives off that pink glow. Yeah. Wow. Totality oh, ending comes, here. here oh, that. there's the diamond ring. Oh! Yeah. Time to Woo! get Time to put your glasses back on, everyone. That's your cue. Glasses your cue. back on. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. What an amazing experience. My first tour. Victor and I are, are getting ready to undertake. But uh, if I have to boil it down, a lot of it comes down to pride. I'm really proud of humanity for taking on these big challenges. We're really proud of the United States for their leadership, for creating this opportunity where other countries can express our genius, bring real contributions to the program. And now Canada is gonna be the second country in the world to send a human into deep space. And it's got nothing to do with me. It has to do with the genius that the world is sharing. I just love that. That's amazing. I want to mention real quick, we are in full totality up at Tupper Lake, New York, not far from here in northeastern uh -huh. New York. We're here in western New York where light is continuing to shine. Uh, and get a little bit brighter. It really is special, and we uh, we really felt that in the four days that you were here interacting with the public. Yeah. Was that your sense? There's just a lot of uh, excitement around this celestial event that's happening and around space exploration in general, which I find really uplifting. I, I don't think space exploration solves all the problems or challenges of the world, but I do believe it is one of the pillars of those solutions. Uh, it doesn't matter what problem you're looking at, space plays a role. And I love it when I see our youth getting fired up about, you know, asking me, you know, how do I work at NASA? How do I work at the Canadian Space Agency? We're on the U.S. side here, but I've had some Canadians come up to me. It's just something that brings us together. This, you know, the spirit of humanity. Just like this experience we're having here, it's a very, you know, it feels like community. We're all out here, just humans, just being humans and sharing something special.
and sh sharing it together was really neat. That communal part that you talk about. Like, I feel a little bit of a bond with everybody here now. Yeah. You as well. Appreciate seeing you and having dinner over the past few nights. Just happened to work out coincidentally. Yeah. Um, really enjoyed the time. Great words today. And we will all be rooting you on for your mission coming up in uh, September of uh, next year. So good luck. Be safe. We'll be rooting you and your crew on. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah. No, we'll Thank take it. Me. I appreciate that. And I don't know if you saw it when you were on camera because you were busy, but the the birds, they just went nuts in totality. Did, Did you see that? No, were, I didn't see it. They're all up here. They came out of the woodwork. I mean, there's been birds all day, but it was sort of like birds filling the sky. I thought that was really neat to see. Anyway, thanks for, for having me today. It's Great. a pleasure to be here. Thank you for, fill that out in your city. What the difference is between, actually, we're going to go ahead. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we're getting oh. really close. Oh my gosh, it looks like just a few more seconds that until is. we are in complete totality. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Five, four, four, three, three two, go. one. Oh. <laughs> you can hear everybody cheering. This is incredible. So let's go ahead amazing. and take off our glasses. We are in totality now. Oh, you can see the corona oh spikes. My God. Amazing. That is Beautiful. Incredible. You can see a planet in the sky that you couldn't see before. Oh, wow. And I think, see is it? that one of the, um, oh gosh, the, the oh, yeah, some, word some I'm drone. There's now. a drone up there <laughs> in the sky, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. It's incredible. The rays that yeah, you can kind of just see coming off of the corona. Yes. Yeah. Stunningly wow. beautiful. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's got to be one of the most amazing things I've ever and seen. And you can see the gradation in the sky color yes. down to the horizon, Oh, too. my goodness. Yeah. I am seeing a bit of that 360-degree um, sunset. Yes. yes, yeah. That is really cool. It's, it's, um, it's amazing. Even though we're in you know, the total shadow right. here, it, there's still, the corona is still pretty bright. It I mean, is incredibly you, bright. You could read by the light of the corona. <laughs> I think I would have some <laughs> trouble reading, but I probably could. I could technically read something. <laughs> so, Eric, oh, and actually we have the International Space Station flying over right now. So they are actually seeing not one, but two views of the eclipse. They're able to see not just the moon passing in front of the sun, but they're also able to see the shadow of the moon passing over Earth, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, I can hardly imagine a view being better than the one we have right now, but if there is one, well, it's, it's yeah. It's on the space station. It's from yeah. the space station for <laughs> sure. <laughs> wow, so yes, they're able to take some pictures of that. Um, and that is just incredible, just incredible. It, uh, one, one of the things they told people to do if you're far away was to hear how nature changed. And it was yes. interesting here, we're of course surrounded by a lot of people, just to hear <laughs> their reaction when we went into totality. It's true, the humans in nature have not gotten quieter, but louder, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, you can definitely hear the, the loudness has a different kind of character to it. There's yeah. almost like a, I mean, I don't know if wonder has a sound, but I think yeah. this might be it. Yeah. yeah. Hushed awe. Yes, yeah. hushed awe. <laughs> That's wonderful. And I can see just one um, little red, I guess, like, yeah, protrusion yeah, little, coming down there. Yeah, red spots almost. I oh, noticed yeah. those, too. That's cool. Now there are two. Yeah. Wow. That is just so cool. Yeah, I like the, the 360 sunset. It's, it's a little hard to see behind us, but it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, we've yeah. got at least one, one there, or two drones. <laughs> yeah, some uh, our robot overlords. Are, of course. And so, Eric, I know that, I mean, clearly with the drones, people are starting to get involved in the eclipse, and I know that there are lots of ways that people can actually get involved. One mm -hmm. of those ways is with citizen science. Right. Would you mind talking about some of those opportunities, how people can, can actually... Sure. Yeah. Uh, we had uh, citizen science programs where people could use their cell phones to take pictures during the eclipse. And, and oh, we're, we're getting coming ready out. to come out of totality. We're uh, and here we go. With those wow. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's <laughs> peeking out. <laughs> Everybody is cheering. Yeah. We have just made it to the end of totality. We're starting to see, we're starting to see the sun just peeking oh, back and it's out amazing. again. Now just look at the ground, how much brighter it's gotten. It is all already so much brighter. That is so wild. That was oh, probably one of the most fabulous. amazing, but also fastest three minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I could do it all again. Yeah. All right. Well, that was incredible.
Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our content.